Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Biscayne Bay Brewing Company in Miami, Florida. So the first beer I've had, uh, going to have from them, never heard of them before. And this is their Miami Pale Ale, so a classic pale ale with tropical notes, uniquely low bitterness, and extremely uh, smooth finish. I wouldn't recommend it, I, what I just did. I literally just picked this off the shelf. They don't have a bottling date on there. There's a little date over there that we just discovered. Uh, can't really read it, not quite sure what it says. And then another thing is probably uh, you're, you're curious about is what is Biscayne uh, Bay Brewing? I actually, uh, Katie's gonna pour the beer as I keep yapping, please. Hey, ladies. Vanna White. Um, so speak, <laughs> speaking about the uh, brewery, you know, there's something called uh, search uh, engine optimization. You want you know your searches to uh, act in a certain way when somebody tries to look up your company, blah, blah. Obviously, I was trying to find out more about this brewery. I actually found the brewery, went on their website, went to their about, and there is just pointless information. Nothing interesting about the brewery. I can't tell you anything other than they're based out of Miami. They opened in 2014, and they're called Biscayne Bay Brewery. And they like craft beer, blah, blah, blah. Like, this is all the words. Just words, 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 words. And they appreciate their customers. Sure, great. Yeah, like every <laughs> like every establishment. So, um, I guess a little bit pet peeve of mine. If you're going to open a brewery and you're going to make a website, say something about yourself. Present yourself. Make yourself interesting in your about section. Like, tell me about your brewery. What makes your brewery interesting? Nothing about this brewery is interesting so far, so let's see. Uh, the beer comes in a... Uh, <laughs> deep, that's so annoying. Uh, deep gold to uh, light uh, amber color. Uh, looks a classic kind of uh, pale, uh, pale ale. Has mm -hmm. a little bit of this kind of like a golden hue to it. Um, a little bit like a bronze kind of thing going mm -hmm. on. A little bit orangey since it's orange. But let's see the aroma. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. It's, it's old? Yeah, it smells skunky. So, uh, this is oxidation. Skunky is light struck from light. It doesn't smell like uh, skunk spray. It smells old. It just smells like a little bit stinky. But it does have a little bit of uh, hoppiness to it, so it's like yeah. older hops. But it has a little bit of that kind of uh, brown paper bag, a little bit of that cardboard. Mm -hmm. But oh, 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 it might have been skunk too. No, you get that? I I just said that. Oh, no, I don't get it. I just said the word skunky. But it might not actually be skunk because there is a little bit of fruitiness underneath. I get a little bit of tropical fruit, a little yeah. bit of pineapple. I get a little bit. But of But I get skunk. oxidation on those for sure. But a little bit of like pine and uh, not not pine, uh, weed dankness, like dried weed. Mm -hmm. Just. Weed is dry, whatever. Um, this blend, it's older bottle. It tastes like brown paper bag. <laughs> you know what? This I, I suspect this is actually not that old. It doesn't taste very good. No, it doesn't taste fresh. It passes Best Buy, I would, I would say. But it's not like way past its Best Buy. It doesn't taste like, oh, this is gross. Like, what? This is like, like right on the verge of like, and, and it could be just stored very well. Like, we were suspecting this might actually be a almost one-year-old bottle. Like, I just can't read it. Like, the, like, the numbers make no sense for me. And, you know, this is coming from a bottle reading expert. Excuse me. Uh, reading, like, Julian and all that stuff. Like, I don't know. what Bottle date, please. Bottle date, can date, please. Like, that'd be very helpful. But um, if I had to suspect, this beer, I would say, was probably a four-month. Hmm. Hmm. I'd probably say it's like a four or five month, uh, four, four, four to five month old beer. I don't know about the quality of the beer. Um, the beer is actually not bad. Like I think it fresh would have been fine. It does it has a little bit of oxidation to it, but it has a little bit of that kind of light, kind of touch of biscuit note to it. Not overly sweet. It's a low bitterness kind of pale ale. It's uninteresting to me. I'm just gonna be honest. That's because it's just a pop. But there's a little bit of yeah. grassiness. There's a little bit of like, like citrus rind, just like. Like a little zip of it driving in there. Yeah. And there's a little light bitterness. Not tropical at all. So obviously what the label says and how, you know, the bottles don't really match. So uh, we're going to go with no rating on this one. You know, just at least to be fair to uh, Biscayne uh, Bay mm -hmm. But um, actually, no. They, like, didn't bottle date it. So, like. That's not your fault. Yeah, but, like. So we should rate it as if, like, they wanted it to be sold this way. Like. Yeah. What, it, what, what does it get then? Like. It's just a bland pale ale that's like a little yeah, oxidized. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not interesting to me. Yeah. There's nothing about it that really stands out. Like this It is, could be a good beer, though. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just because it's a little bit older. But... You give it a rating, then. <laughs> uh, Someone served you this at a bar. Like, you know, don't think about how old it is, right? Just, like, take, what, take it for what it is. Uh, let me try it one more time. I don't think I'm numbering myself. I 
This reminds me of Bud Light for some reason towards the end. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it, I'm going to say an 80, 83. 83? That's too high. You know, 83 is like a B minus. Like that's a, yeah, I mean, it's not a good rating. It's if not, someone gave you a plan, not, I guess. It's, yeah. not, it's not awful. Yeah, it's not awful. You're right, actually. It's not awful. It's For just slightly my, outside my, of beer, it's actually not awful. My yeah. issue is that it's just not interesting. Yeah. But like, that's, that's just might be from the age of it. But served yeah. as it is, you're correct, actually. I was actually going to be really mean, but you're, you're right. This is probably around a B-. minus. So. <sighs> 81. Okay. 81 Biscayne Bay Brewing Miami Pale Ale. Also nice time, guys. Cheers. Later.